This is Movie Tone. Lionel Gamlin reporting. <laughs> Arriving at the Playhouse Cinema to receive the freedom of Inverness, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, was welcomed by the Provost, Mr J M McGregor. Later in the day, the Cameron Highlanders, the Queen's own, were to receive a similar honour, and it was natural that the regiment should play an important part in these ceremonies. Presently, Mr James Cameron, the town clerk, administered the oath. Elizabeth. I, Elizabeth. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Promise and declare. Promise and declare that I will faithfully demean myself, that I will faithfully demean myself as a burgess, as a burgess of the royal borough of Inverness. Of the royal borough of Inverness. The burgess ring, a plain golden band, was then placed on her finger by the provost, and the freedom scroll, together with a salver bearing the arms of Inverness, presented to Her Majesty. There is something about Inverness which stirs the imagination of all Scottish people. In its proud position, astride its river, it holds the key to the highlands of Scotland. And the history of this country is closely woven into its fabric. I'm glad to think that I'm sharing the distinction which you are conferring upon me today with the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders, who have so long brought fame to the place when so many of them have set forth. In this way, Inverness, the key to the Highlands of Scotland, honoured the Queen Mother together with the regiment which owes so much of its tradition to the Royal Borough. <laughs>